Hello friends! Welcome to episode 56 of Dub Life. It is a Friday, it is November 1st, the day after Halloween. Last episode ended just yesterday. We've actually been running consecutive days on the last few issues of Dub Life. Uh, and like I mentioned, a reason for that is I'm about to go on vacation and I won't be filming and editing during that time. I will make a video, but I won't have time to get it up. So, uh, It'll come a little bit later, so that's why we've been doing it like this. Hope you've been enjoying. You've seen everything I've done for like eight or nine straight days, and that'll continue for a few more days. Like I told you this episode, uh, today, I'm probably about to run to the mall, go get a little Olive Garden, you know, not done that in a while. <laughs> Ooh, gold dust! And then, go to the mall. Uh, I want to go by the Apple Store. I might go by Character World and see if they've got anything going on, maybe another place or two. And then tonight, Victoria comes to visit... We are going with our older sister, Kimberly, to see Wicked at the Fox Theater. Uh, if you haven't seen Wicked, it is a musical um, about the Wicked Witch of the West from Wizard of Oz. And we can all sing Defying Gravity together and have a good time. It'll be, it'll be really nice. Uh, we like going to shows, especially at the Fox, the fabulous Fox Theater in downtown Atlanta. With all of its history and prestige, it's a great place to see a show. So we're doing that tomorrow. I don't know what we'll do tomorrow night. And then Sunday... Uh, I'm on the road to St. Louis Sunday and Monday. And then when I come back from St. Louis, headed to the beach. So that's what you'll get over the next few days. A um, little bit of everything, right? A little bit of uh, hunting figures, a little bit of uh, stuff with the family and friends, a little bit of travel, a uh, little bit of everything. It'll be a good time. Uh, so I hope you enjoy it. And I know I am excited to go get some soup from Olive Garden and some pasta from Olive Garden, so without further ado, let's go! I wanna be with you, I wanna be with you, baby. Yeah, baby. Make a wish, take a chance, make a change, and bread. Oh, Lynn's flaring it. Woo -hoo. I need your love. Squeeze it. I know what you're doing, I see it all too clear. Going to get Alfredo sauce and probably some chicken. You didn't think you weren't going to get a concert, did you? I am very tired of Olive Garden. We're nearing the end. I think there's like three weeks left. And for two of those three weeks, I will be away at Myrtle Beach. So, or for, you know, 10 days or whatever. So, uh,. Or in the waning days of the pasta pass, which uh, I have like tripled my money by now. When it's finally over, I'll go down the rundown of the return on investment of the pasta pass, but it's been significant on my Facebook. I've been tracking it each time I go. So we'll talk about that. But next stop, Olive Garden! And then probably soon thereafter, the potty. It's a nice day, even though it's a little chilly. Uh oh. When we started the month, October 1st, it was uh, 98 degrees that day. And here we are on November 1st, and I think it will be down into the 20s. So it's a pretty drastic shift in one month. But right now, it just feels kind of cool. I mean, I am in pants, and I got my little Uggs. Those are actually Uggs. They look like dress shoes. They got the Ugg for, you know, you got to keep it tight. But... That's otherwise it's nice and cool. I don't need to wear a coat or anything, but temperature will drop. So it'll be nice to get to the beach. Although it'll be chilly at the beach as well with the water. Uh, so still not a lot of leaves changing. You know, lots of green. It's very late this year. Very late. Anyway, Olive Garden back again. <laughs> We've had a variation. They were out of the peach tea, so this is mango strawberry tea. So got a big beefy soup, more sausagey soup. A tea variation. Never had this tea. Mmm, fruity. 
this time we got the corkscrew with the fried cheese marinara and the chicken. I think this is like my 29th different combination of things. Round two, spaghetti meatballs with Alfredo. Oh, I'm full. Oh, heavy olive garden and now we're at the mall to walk around a little bit before I head back and finish the work day. How are you all doing this week? It was a uh, quiet week, just you and I. There will be a lot of people that we encounter this time, I think, or at least a few, maybe not a lot. I'm ready for vacation though, I'll tell you that. I don't wanna get hit by this car. I don't know that I can move quickly enough. That car's just gonna stop and look at me, okay? Now another car's gonna hit me they're not gonna stop because that car is me but let's go look at the character world i'm not sure that i've seen gents barber studio before there's cool toys i've actually not been to the mall in a while i don't come that often anymore i don't really know why just every once in a while not a lot of stuff that i'm uh, buying in stores most everything i'm pre-ordering anymore but you know Here's the upstairs. Right at that line and giraffe. I wonder if anybody's gonna get that for Christmas. There's Character World right there. I think last time I was here, this was all under construction, but now it's a massive, like, see how far that runs? Playground, that's pretty cool. All right, I still got that big Deadpool with the big, big, big Mjolnir. I'm not sure who that Mjolnir is for. Oh, it's only 250. Let's just be huge foam. At 250, it might be for me. Uh, Joker, Wonder Woman. These are not new. I like that fall statue though. It's cool. I've shown that a few times. Big balls. Uh, it's over here. I don't think anything has changed here. Look at that group. Yeah, I think these are the same. Nobody's made any big purchase here in a while. All this music's loud and I do not want to get copyrighted. Harry Potter stuff. Seven Dwarves are, those are cool. Oh, those Harry Potter figures are nice, they're bigger. But other than that, I don't know that any of this is anything terribly new. There's not been a lot of new stuff come out recently. I do think that's the new Broly. I had that pre-ordered at GameStop, I think, hadn't come in yet. Or maybe it has, I just haven't picked it up. The rest of that is uneventful. I don't have many hot toys. They have spider pump back there, I see. But it looks like they're not carrying hot toys as much anymore. On to the next one. Next on my agenda, right there, the Apple Store. Yay. I've actually already made my purchase at the Apple Store online. We have a uh, partnership with my company and their company where we get a minor employee discount. So if you go through that portal, you can get stuff a little cheaper. There are a few things here I want to look at before I just pick that stuff up though and check them out. So one of the things I'm picking up are the new AirPods Pro and they have the noise cancellation. So I'm hopeful I can use them on the plane instead of always changing. But I'm also interested in a new over ear at some point in the next few months. I don't know. I like these colors. I like those, the matte colors. Like I would rock either one of those. I think they look good. Power beats, I'm not gonna get. Yeah, yeah, see? I like that. The blue one. I think that looks nifty. Solo is what I use now, just an older Solo. Maybe that Solo 3 is what I use, not a Solo Pro. I don't remember. Uh, nope, none of that. Actually, here is what I am gonna pick up today, the AirPods Pro. I've had both generations of AirPods already. I'm gonna give or sell very cheap my current one to David. Pick these up with the noise cancellation. Key being, I hope they work on the airplane, or at least better than the regular AirPods do on the airplane. That's the goal. I am also picking up uh, this, this yellow leather case. I have a clear case on mine now but I like to uh, change my cases out. So this is not the right size, but that's the case I'm getting the yellow leather, which I think will look nice. I like to change my 
cases out and have a bunch of different colors. Which gets expensive because you have to do it again in year after year, but such is the tech life. I also keep looking at the Osmo Mobile. I think this is the Osmo Mobile 2. DJI makes us Same people that make the drones. And this one comes with a tripod. I could, I could go for that. It's actually the Mobile 3. Osmo Mobile 3 combo. How much is it? 140. It tempts me. I have uh, the original Osmo Mobile. And uh, I don't ever use it, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's big and you have to haul it around. Usually I'm just holding my phone, but it's really nice. This thing especially I'm interested in. It's a 361X. It's a 360 tiny little camera. And it can know the selfie stick you're holding and it takes it out. Yeah, you see how it says invisible selfie stick? It takes it out of the video you're shooting. So it looks like the camera's floating above you. It's another product I'm interested in. I don't know how much that is. Probably about 400 bucks. Yeah, 450. And the final thing I'm picking up today is this. You've seen us look at watch bands in several episodes. This is a purple and black style from my watch. So I'm picking that up. I also, at some point, may get this pink one. Pink and black. I don't think they had it in my size. Uh, oh, that's 44. That would have been my size. But I wanted the purple one first. So let me check in and get my stuff. Yeah, I checked in. They, If you use uh, Apple Wallet or the equivalent on Google, they give you the little passes, the digital passes with barcodes, like your boarding passes and everything else, Apple Pay. So they just scan it and they bring it out in like two minutes. But right here, she is teaching a class on how to uh, draw on the iPad. It looks like you know how to edit photos or something. You should look into the Apple classes. They're free. You should just sign up on the website for your local Apple store. And they teach you how to take pictures and how to edit. And you can fully learn how to make your own YouTube video with editing and shooting and everything for free at an Apple store. You just got to sign up. Recommend it. It's a pretty busy day for lunchtime at the Apple store. Lots of people coming to buy AirPods. They, the area I checked in, like right beside where I was showing you the the, uh, the person teaching the drawing classes, that thing's packed. Just loaded with AirPods, almost like candy bars at the grocery store. And people are just coming and buying them, coming and buying them, the new AirPods. So I guess that's a good product launch. I don't know. I'm excited for them though. Let's go check out the Disney store. I haven't been there in a while. So this is where that hurricane machine that you saw Andrew and I get into several few episodes ago. But now it's Marvel Adventure Labs and a Bitcoin ATM where you can buy Bitcoin. That's unusual. Marvel Adventure Lab. Pose with your favorite superhero. Transform yourself into a comic. So it's just like a picture studio. Except you get put in the comic. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. I had to do that one time. I wonder how much it is. Probably not cheap. Five bucks. I don't know. When I got some friends with me, we'll have to check that thing out. Oh! Final stop before we go back home. Disney. Plush. I want to get one $3. I'll be at a Disney outlet here next week, so I don't know. Unless they have something specific. Yeah, I imagine there's quite a bit of Frozen. Let's see what happens. Come on, Olaf. We just want you to have a party. Costumes. Uh, not much anything working I'm seeing immediately. Same Ant-Man and Wasp that have been here forever. Same legends that have been here forever. Neon Tech Iron Man cost baby. I don't know if I've seen this Hulk. Maybe. Two pack. Mark 50 select. Eh, no. Nothing of interest, really. Still got a couple white box. The second sister of Kylo. Limited release coins. Saga coin set. Uh, I mean, I guess those are kind of neat. Oh, well. Nothing else. Gotta go home. I told you a lie. Quick, think geek, stop. I have not seen these. 
Christmas pops, but they're coming with like the little house, like the Christmas villages that people like, and I like, I just don't have any. I have a few. That's, uh, that's kind of cool. You could set up a Christmas village of pops. It's not a bad idea. Went to Star Wars here, and they do have the shock trooper back out. It's $25, so no on that. Mud trooper. I don't know what the Force FX Elite means, how that's different than the Black Series ones. I don't know. They have a lot of Star Wars, though. Nothing I'm looking for. Clapper. Gundam. Let's see what's over here. In the case, looks like they can. Oh, look at these. Are these those Weta? Or the Ring statues, I think, maybe? Is that Sulu? Dragon Ball statues. My hero. Oh, that's the Iron Studios D&D uh, &D stuff, I think. Is that what that is? There's Geralt in the bath. I just saw Henry Cavill Geralt in the bath recently for the Netflix show. Oh, I forgot they're selling Hot Toys here now. The Hot Toys, that wool gauntlet. Yeah. And up there, Sideship Daredevil. Or, I'm sorry, Deadpool, the Speeder, Vader. What else is over here? Dragon Ball stuff. Uh, no, got all that. Clearance. No, not clearance anymore. Now it's DC. Don't see any hot toys. Oh. That was hard to find for a little while. There's that bat cycle. I do want that. I'm going to get that at some point, probably. They do have the Thinky exclusive. Some of those higher toys. Vintage. Egg attack on the bottom. It's dark back here by the legends. Oh, that light's out. Uh, alpha flight. Legends seem to be pretty easy to find nowadays. You just wait a little while for them to come out. Oh, look at this. The movie Turtles of Doom now here in some level of abundance. At least Raphael is. It's all Raphael. No, there's Raph, Leo. Donnie, maybe no Mikey, but everybody else. Those new things, that's NECA, the Tiny Terrors. I mean, they're well stocked. Guess it is coming up on Christmas. All right, now I gotta get out of here. I was actually very, very stocked in that Think Geek. I don't know if, uh, I don't know. They're keeping the Think Geek stores open. At, oh. Santa, although I don't think Santa's there. Maybe. Oh no, Santa's there. He's got a huge chair too. Oh, Santa. November first, Santa too. Guess it's uh, officially the day it begins. But they had a lot. Even more stuff I saw on the way out, like a Ectotron, the Ghostbusters car that transforms into a robot. Not like the Optimus Prime one but it just transforms into like its own robot. I don't think I'd seen that before, but maybe. But they had a lot, they were very well stocked. So if you have a Think Geek near you and you're looking for a lot of the kind of Hasbro, Mattel, NECA, that side of things, and they might be loaded up. I will talk to you when I get the house. I think I've got a couple of packages. One final thing, see right there, the Hickory Farms kiosk whatever you call these things in the middle of the mall no i gotta go one more exit uh i guess it's been probably 10 or 11 months ago so shoot 30 40 episodes ago long time ago we came into the mall after christmas i think it was probably into january february and that kiosk still had some sausages and things of that nature we came in the mall it was during the day for some reason and uh, it was 90 percent off and i was in a hurry maybe it was a lunch break and i didn't have time to stop and look and then we came back later either that night or the next day and it was gone completely gone the whole kiosk was gone it had disappeared do you remember that i remember that we're not gonna let that happen again this year if the meats go 90 percent off we put meats in our pocket <laughs> Multiple packet. 
What am I doing? Nope. Oh, look at that. Oh, porks! <laughs> See, I'm too OCD. I had five of the big ones and three of the small ones. But the small ones are actually expensive. And Amazon randomly had them for like seven bucks. That's when I got those three, but they don't let you get three. Well, that sale happened again, and I got the other two. So, poop, man, you're going to have to find a new place to live. We'll figure that out. And then I got six trades. Uh, I don't know if you read Jason Aaron. He's one of my favorite writers in comics. And he's been on Thor for seven years. And I've loved it. I've loved every issue. And he's in the end. King Thor right now that's out. He's got two more issues, and then it's over. And he is done writing Thor. And then Donnie Cates, who's been doing Venom, will be doing Thor. So I got the trades that I was missing. I have a bunch of other Jason Aaron trades because I want to read through all the story again before uh, finishing up King Thor. So I plan to do it on vacation. So I'm missing these. And you can get trades on Amazon for like eight bucks. So pretty cheap. Um, and then there's my Apple products that I showed you. So hooray! Let's take a look at our new items, shall we? So first we've got the watch. Always such a pleasant unboxing experience. You just find the little tab, and ooh, and there you go. Ready to open and see the prettiness. I've uh, picked up a lot of good Apple Watches on discount, Apple Watch bands, but some of their new colors are just beautiful as well. So there you go. I think that looks great. I'll wear that tomorrow to the play, probably. I just really like the black showing through of the purple. See the back side of it, how it's black. Front side purple. So I think that looks especially nice. I'm a fan. And uh, the Nike watch bands have the holes. I guess that make them a little more breathable for when you're on your run or working out or whatever it is you're doing, swimming. Just make it a little bit nicer. And they do. So they come in uh, both sizes. So the top is the same on every one. That's the large, that's the one I'll use. And then you can see the difference in like the small. So if you have a smaller wrist, you have a different option. So that's nice. Purple and black watch band. Actually, that is the Nike Pulse and black watch band. If you're interested in that one. Uh, and like I said, that pink one, I think that pink one is called Volt maybe. That's another one that I will probably pick up at some point. Now, like I told you, the case that's on you right now is just a clear case that I got from Verizon when I ordered the phone. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what brand it is, but it's been good. I'll still use it quite a bit. But I did want an Apple case. I go back and forth. Sometimes I have these leather ones like this, and sometimes I get the silicone case. Just depends. And this is easy to just, just pull right up. There you go. And if you're ever interested in trying on cases, you can go to the Apple store and you can just take them off the display. They have the wall of cases where they're all sitting there like this and you can just take them off, pop them on your phone. But, uh, you know, not much to it. Nice uh, kind of yellow leather with the Apple logo. I think that'll go well with the green coming through and it's just bright and striking. I like, obviously, I like having a lot of different colors. So there you go. That's a very easy unboxing. Uh, picture of directions, yeah, pretty straightforward. All right, two things down, and one or maybe three to go. So these are the existing AirPods that have the wireless charging case uh, that charges with like a Qi charger. Great battery life, great battery life. Uh, I don't, I don't remember what the exact specs are, but in the case you get like thirty plus hours before you have to charge the case again, which is the same with these. I think these may have a longer battery life in your ears, but um, they don't have the active noise canceling, which of course takes up battery life to do that. But these have been great. This is actually uh, my first gen I gave to Victoria. Victoria bought for me. We're gonna sell those to David. Victoria will pick these up and I'll start using those. But I am interested to see kind of the size difference. I think these are different shaped and a little bit I think they're just different. They may be, in terms of volume, similar. So again, it's just a peel off. Nothing uh, too challenging when you're unboxing any Apple product. It's all made to easily unbox. And then you just slide off the top. Ooh, sliding it. 
designed by Apple California. And there you go. So right away you get to the to the case. It's uh, let me take the plastic off. So we're looking at like for like. So it's wider. It's wider. It's interesting. It's almost like it's almost the same, but turned. It's almost like you uh, it was a jelly bean and you smished it. It's kind of what it looks like. Let's look what the item itself. Probably is gonna try to pair with the phone. So that is the new one. You see it's got the silicone tips, which I think you basically have to have with an earbud in order to do noise cancellation. Uh, it's more kind of uh, spacey looking to me. Oh, it's much shorter, much shorter, the, uh, the arm piece. I don't know how to show you that. Let's see, there you go. Much, much shorter. So that's cool, but very similar design, bigger microphones, bigger uh, air intake valves. So that's cool. If you've never had AirPods, they're the easiest things in the world to pair to your Apple device. If you're not using with Apple device, I don't know how you do it. I think you use this button on the back, if you can see that indention to make it a Bluetooth pairing. But if, with Apple device, you just open it and it'll pair right to it. In fact, uh, I can probably do that in front of you. Hold on one moment. So I've got my iPad out. I'm hopeful that I can show you uh, just how quickly you'll pair it. So here's my new AirPods. I'm just gonna open it up right near the device. Right there, it sees it. AirPods Pro. Let's see, can I get it to focus on that and make you see it better? I don't know, maybe you can see it. Nice little animation, just hit connect. And there you go. That's how quickly they are connected. So now it's taking you through a tutorial, noise control, volume control, showing you all the different things you need, but they are now live and they are connected to my iCloud. So if you're on an Apple product, you're familiar how iCloud works. So any device that my iCloud is signed into, these will immediately work. So I don't have to pair them to the phone that I'm talking to you on or my computer or anything else. They're already paired to it now. It's just that fast. Uh, yes, we'll have Siri read us messages. So there you go, Super Legend Dragon Master of the Fourth Realms iPad Pro. Ready to go. That's how simple it is. Now then, I got the camera facing me, and I'm going to try these things out. So I got my iPad here. You have to do a fit test, I believe. So they, it also comes with a USB-C to lightning charger, and this is the different uh, tips, which I don't even want to open unless I need them. Hopefully the standard tip will fit, but it's got different options for the silicone tips. So I'm going to put these in and uh, see what happens. I think I've got to do a little test. It has a fit test to make sure they're fitting snugly in your ear. So that's what we're going to try. Although I'm not sure. There we go. Is that the way to put them in? I do not know. We're learning together. All right, got them in. Here is ear tip fit test. I'm gonna press that. Uh, I'll just see if you can see it. I'm gonna play that and it's gonna play music, I guess, and it's gonna see if it's doing the noise control and everything else, so play. Oh, oh, you can't hear music, but I'm, oh. Adjust or try a different ear tip, okay? So I'm adjusting. Oh, that was a much different. Oh, I'm going to try again. I don't feel like I can hear anything. Oh, shake that thing now for me. It Good seal. So there it goes. I don't know if you can see it, but it says good seal. That means that now I'm in noise cancellation. I have three modes. Noise cancellation, which is where I can't hear anything from the outside. And right now I can't. So I don't know how loud I'm talking. I can do off, which will be like regular AirPods. Off. Hello. Yeah. That's like regular AirPods. Then transparency. Oh, wow. Now that is creepy. It, it almost turns them into uh, hearing aids because it lets in the outside noise so you can listen to music but still interact with people. I guess that's what the big vents are for. That's creepy. Works really effectively. All right, I'm going to list this music. Back to noise canceling. Do, 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 do. I want to rub it. 
rub it. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go with um, something from the 2000s. Big Timer Still Fly is what we will listen to. Let's see. Gator boots, Gucci suit, yeah. Pay my rent, cause all my money's spent. Okay, those sound really good. Good investment, I'm happy. Let's look at Porgs. <laughs> so there's another new feature in the new iOS where you, if someone else has AirPods, you can share the audio from your device. Like back in the old day where you'd split the headphones and each of you would plug your headphones in or like, you know, you'd get one ear or your significant other get the other ear. It's like that, but with AirPods. And <laughs> so I'm just sharing it with myself and I have the new one in the left ear and the second generation in the right ear. And I'm gonna turn on music now and see what happens. <laughs> it works beautifully. But this one is much better. More bass, more shaking it, you know, rubbing it, feeling it. Now we'll look at the porks. <laughs> porks are free. If you've never seen these porks, they're racing porks. Press their tummy and... <laughs> they're wonderful. That's the review. How are you doing today, new Asgard? Oh! <laughs> A full set of 10. Fast forward a bit from the porks and we're gonna go get a massage. Laura called me and she had an availability. So I took it. Gotta live dangerously, you know. Take it when you can get it. Not that getting a massage is too terribly dangerous. I'm in the tranquility room waiting. And then it's time to go. Woo, feeling better. Gotta do the mental health. And I'm certainly not a great person to talk about physical health, but it's good physically as well. I need to do better on the physical health. Maybe I'll try to do that. Maybe we'll try to do that with the videos, huh? Maybe. But Laura told me this story. She always tells me stories. I'm fascinated at what it's like to be a massage therapist and uh, all the different things I encounter today. So she told me that this, uh, this older lady came in today and that um, she said, I just want you to know that I've been having explosive diarrhea today. So just beware as you're giving a massage. <laughs> I'm not making that up. That is not my story. It's not a story I am embellishing. It is not. Uh... That's her story. That's the thing that happened today. And I think it's wonderful. Anyway, talk to you when Victoria gets here. Victoria. Yeah. Look at new Asgard. It looks a lot better than uh, last, last year here. Yeah. So can good. you tell the good people what <laughs> message you got in the group text a couple hours ago? Extreme Midgets Wrestling. You win? Well, are you? Apparently so. David, are you in? Me too. So here we are. Yeah. At the Buckhead Saloon in Buckhead, part of Atlanta. And we're here to see Extreme Midget Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Which, truthfully enough, in a group text, David just sent. You want to do the meeting? It's $300 for the Is it meeting. Is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, the $30 meeting greet? Yeah. So for 10 extra bucks, we can meet and greet with the little folks that are about to wrestle. We're wrestling, extreme wrestling, at the Buckhead Saloon. Is anyone certain of what we're about to do? Absolutely not. David really wanted to go. He was going to come by himself if we didn't join him. Oh, well, touch it. But we're definitely at the right place because we walk into the saloon and we got Penn State flag right there. Although the Minnesota flag is there too. And they play next, not tomorrow though, next week. Go Lions. And then right here, wrestling ring. And then saloon. And Victoria's amused. Yeah. I mean, hey, 
That's where it's at, I guess, right there. Are you gonna run up there and go do the frog splash? I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. Victoria. Yeah. Do you think anybody's coming off the top rope you know, right there? Not even the little people? No. <laughs> it's like it's two feet before the fan. Yes. So no frog splash. No. Maybe from that side with the fly. This is this looks like an unusual place for a wrestling ring. I agree. Huh. That's gonna be fun. You've seen us do a lot on dub locks. Quite a bit. But this is probably the truest view of what it is really like. Because this all just happened in the last couple hours. Yes. And we're now an hour away from home at Extreme Midget. Pro Wrestling's baddest little show, Halloween Extravaganza. Yeah. With no, zero expectations as to what we're about to see. I was just None. like at work a few hours ago. You know. And now you're here with the little people. What did you? Uh, Do you think all the normal people that would be over here? Because there's no one here. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you think they're all at the meet and greet that happens maybe. from eight to maybe nine? That's like, yeah. I think it's packed. Like behind that closed doors. Doors. Yeah. Actually. There yeah, there was, was the bus out there. Yeah. There was uh, that section over there. There was there was a, a very attractive little person that was walking over there too, coming in the bus. Maybe she was going for the meet and greet. What? Oh. At the merch table. Those are luchador masks. That's great. The extreme dwarf in there. Huh. Mask is cool. Oh. Well, we picked up the boom box. Um, figure, I'm calling this a figure. Signed by boom box. Who had the championship belt? There's Hogan. Hogan is here. And, uh. Is that Brutus Beefcake? I don't know who that's supposed to be. The Dude Love is here? No, that's a Shawn Michaels. I'm not really sure who he's supposed to be. Just get the young bucks pose. Huh. I like it when there's a thing I like and I don't have to add no, you know, whatever. I can just get it exactly how it comes. Are you talking about midget wrestling? With that Chick comment? Chicken Caesar wrap. Uh, not boom bucks. Well, we're going to pick out some food to eat while we watch uh, wrestling. Never been here, but it's kind of a cool vibe. I like it. There's a bear over there in the window. What are you getting? Flatbread? Wings? Maybe. One pound of wings, only $10. Seems like a value play. Gotta wrap hey. Somehow I got a microwave pizza. And you got a avocado chicken, but look at the wings. Ooh. I'm ready for wrestling to start. Personally, are you ready for wrestling? Yeah. The boom box? Yeah. The champ? That's right. Put it in the mouth. Are you ready? Yeah, I am ready, that gentleman. Apparently I can hear you. Are you ready? Victoria, are you ready? Yeah. David, are you ready? Thank you guys for coming out. We are extremely good wrestling. And we are ready to rumble. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. We need this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'll since see where this that guy is, is. a sporting event, I would like to ask everyone to please rise for our national anthem. Oh, really? Oh, my. This referee, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Ohio, she's a sexy midget. Oh, my. And the king, ladies and gentlemen, from Pinky Shorten. at the ring. Things are in good condition. No shenanigans. No! Hey! Yes! 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 
Pinky. Pinky. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is check his gloves. Make sure he has no illegal implement. Gentlemen, keep your wise because this next wrestler oh is Oh! He's our smallest guy in our roster. Should have laughed all over. At three foot even, ladies and gentlemen, Atlanta, Georgia. Give it up for Sucky. Oh, hey! Hide your walls, he said. Because a Suki is coming through. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, Ralph, say something. She can't do it with the monster. Oh, 
God. With the mop stick. Oh. Give it whoa, to him in the alley. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, why? Come on, Psycho. I know you're not. He's going to try to seduce her. This will be seductive Steve, Psycho. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. oh, that's sweet. Oh, Psycho. That shit is really oh. That is not going to work, Psycho. Well played, Psycho. Oh, uh, I don't... Uh-oh. As a climax! We're the Pinky Fans out there! Oh, yeah, that's a oh. Oh. oh, no. Nobody home for Pinky. What are you doing, Psycho? Oh! What? Oh, uh -oh Psycho going all the way up. This first wrestler, straight from the 305, he is our extreme midget wrestling champion. Standing in at 45, 300 pounds, he goes by the name Boomba. Oh, 
Oh, freaking music. What's happening? This is taking a turn. Get a boombox. Oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God.
Oh no, boombox. one's over what were your thoughts victoria you first did you have fun i did yeah did you enjoy their talent oh, and yeah. athleticism yeah they were very nice people david you have fun oh yeah my uh there was a lot of things that were my favorite but one of my favorite things happened at the very end when you guys went to the restroom a couple people walked in and they walked in not here for wrestling here to just go to the saloon and they walked in and went what in the, oh my goodness, there's a wrestling ring. And it was delightful to see that happen. But uh, so, uh, yeah, well, when we get back to the house, we'll give you one more rundown on the wrestling. David has to get up to leave in four and a half hours. And uh, he's probably two hours from his house at the moment. Um, but let the record show this was David's idea. Yes. So yes. I don't know what you're talking about. Have I have text message this. proof. Yeah. Text message proof to sudden and violent flatulence. <laughs> it won't be right here. Boombox, you're now in your new home. Well, before we say goodnight for a very eventful day one, any final words? I'm still shivering, sorry. Pinky! We probably won't see David again in this video. Maybe. You have comics and books. Is that exciting? Mm -hmm. No. You want, you're going to have some trick-or-treat candies? Maybe. All right. Well, tell everybody good night. We'll talk to you all in the morning, Vicky. Good night. We're going right from midget wrestling to Broadway theater. Yes. Well, good night. Mm -hmm. Good morning from the bathroom mirror. I'm in the bathroom mirror. I hope I didn't cut my head off so that you could see that I've got the yellow case on. See? That's nice. This is the case that usually has been on it the whole time. Just clear. And lets the green show through. But this is the yellow leather apple case. Do you like that? I've also got the, uh, the new purple watch band on and, uh, no, going to the show, going to the show in the bathroom mirror, and I'm going to the show. Oh, are you ready? I am. Do you want to set up camera and do a little shimmy shake for the camera? I don't know what that means. That's a yes. <laughs> Too much booty in the pants. Look, before we leave, a package arrived. <laughs> Yay, Walking Dead number eight slab. Now I have one through 30 slab. Oh, good. Hooray. Do, should we take the time and find a home for it right now or leave? No, we should probably. Well, time to go. We'll talk to you when we get to the next stop. We've arrived at the Fox Theater. There it is. 
We are now in downtown Atlanta. Like I said, we picked up Kimberly on the way in the purple in Victoria. They're just walking ahead, not paying me no mind. But we are here at the Fox Theater to see Wicked. And uh, looks like there's a, the line to get in wrapped around the corner. The good day it's just open, so it'll ease up pretty quickly. Let me show you the Fox, because it's beautiful. I don't think I've ever shown it to you on a video. There it is from the front. I showed you from the side. It was like an old, I don't remember what it was, like a Masonic temple or some type of old establishment. You'll see when we get in that it's just very unique. But uh, there we go. Big line to get in, and that's where we're going. Confident I won't be able to film any of the show. That's very against things, and I don't want to get banned. But we'll show you around when we get in. It looks cool. Hi, Fox. Hi, Kim and Victoria. Hi. Don't look wicked. All right, we have to... Uh... They, did you hear the guy yelling, side doors open, don't wait in line at the corner? Oh, no. They really wanted people to go to the side door. Are you excited to go inside? Yeah. Yeah. No pooping? I thought y'all loved pooping in this bathroom. Well, it is a very nice bathroom, nice bathroom, but like... It's the desired pooping station. I've, the men's is not that. It's just the urinals. Oh, they'll buy a Lexus for somebody for Christmas. It's probably right there, what, one, 125 right there Ugh. for Christmas? Yeah? Are you getting that for me for Christmas, Victoria, this Lexus? Oh. I mean, the thing about this commercial is it's always doing, like, lease rates Egyptian or ballroom. Here, I got you a car payment Look at this Christmas. feeling. That's, yeah, true. Okay, where do we need to go? Oh. Okay. All right, now we can't go anywhere. Oh, there's a, uh, the actions. There's people with hats over there. Oh, it's chaos. Chaos? Chaos in the entryway. Oh, oh, there's the ladies' lounges down there. All right, we're walking in the actual theater itself, which is cool. What was the, uh, what did this use originally? What was it? What type of temple? It was a Masonic temple. Masonic temple, and then it became a movie theater. These three right here. I'm going to walk up to the front and show the good people what's happening here. So this theater, which is where our big Broadway stuff comes, we're underneath the uh, balcony, but as you get closer to the big dollar tickets, of course, I mean, all the tickets in here are quite expensive. You see there's a stage, and as we move up here, you can tell what I mean by how incredible the architecture is. It's got like the artificial sky, which is amazing. You can see the Land of Oz stuff, which is very, very nice. I'm gonna switch uh, cameras here and rub it, you know, rub it. That way you can see the stage a little better. Move to the one close up. So I just pull back, see how cool it all is. And then of course, all the way in the front, get to the orchestra pit, which is awesome. Cool place to see as well. Front. There you go. Very cool. What's your favorite part about the Fox? The gears? That, that, that's specifically to Wicked. Oh, yeah, all the stage stuff. Yeah, it's cool. Of course, you can hear the world famous Fox hype, like original organ from 100 years ago, which makes when you see Phantom of the Opera in here quite amazing. You get the, like, the opera boxes. We like it. The stage looks cool, huh? Are you excited? I am. Very this is your favorite, very favorite. Very favorite musical. In the whole world. Yeah. Do you want to go down there in the opera pit? No. Or the they orchestra have to, pit? They have to make me work, and my trumpeting's not that great. That would be quite a thing. <laughs> I guess we should go to our seats, get ready for the show. Yeah. We can't film no. in the show, but no. we'll talk to you at intermission. Yeah. Lots of murmurs. There's the hustle and bustle during intermission as everybody runs. There was a couple people that Kim saw running up the aisle the moment the climax of the first act ended to sprint to the bathroom as though they had explosive diarrhea. 
Yeah, it seems like the need was fairly urgent. Yeah, it was a, it was like, a. It was a it was a big need. They were just like renting. The curtain comes down. They're like, Ooh. yeah, yeah, out the door. They had to poop bad. We're at intermission in the dark. In Tim loves much. the costume design. It's a great, it's Are great we costume. having fun so far Very in the awesome. dark? Yes, I love Victoria loves the Wicked. Um, the Wizard of Oz thing is awesome. Yeah, I would like that thing in my house. That's a lot better than my wizard that I have. Yes, yes. <laughs> it is. It's true. I would also, like that wizard. But the little guys in the costumes, they took that straight from one of the original illustrations from the Wizard of Oz, remember? Yeah. yeah. So, like, if you don't know what Wicked is, Wicked is a prequel to the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. yeah. It's like the origin story of the witches, or at least two of the witches. And, um... It's based on a book, but I think the show's actually better than the book. Yeah. So, it has the Wizard of Oz, and it has this contraption that he's behind. If I would hope you know that story. And it's, um, it's really cool. It's really cool. So this is the musical that made Kristen Chenoweth and Idina Menzel careers, I would yeah, say. Yeah, they both were nominated for the Tony and Idina won that year. And then Idina... Menzel was pretty established, but, yeah, not, but, but I mean, not outside of Broadway. But not, but not Frozen. Broadway, not yeah. not Frozen yeah. level of... Right. Which, it was her big breakthrough yeah. theater geek thing right. to like... Is she, is she Anna or Elsa? She's Elsa. She's Elsa. She's Elsa. Yeah, because she sings Let the Let It Go. Yeah. So she's had several big songs. Of course, Defying Gravity is the famous song of Wicked. A lot... I mean, Wicked has a pretty... She was several. She originated Marine. I, I've seen this at least once or twice. Um, this is the best Glenda I've ever seen. She's fantastic. She's wonderful. She's really good, yeah. She's really good with her mannerisms and the ditzy, flirty. Yeah. She's silly and she's a lot of fun. Anyway, it's dark. She's We're talking to you. It's she dark. She sells the calculating aspect of it that you yeah. really have to bring through for the part because it, she doesn't buy her own press. She's doing it very deliberate. Yeah. Which I think is the nuance that she's getting through really That's well. That's true. Yeah. So, uh, intermission's about over. Fortunately, the people that, well, we think, <laughs> that sprinted to use the bathroom have uh, made it. Yeah, hopefully. And uh, we'll talk to you afterward. Yes. There's the Bank of America building. Did you have a good time? Yes. Tim, good time? Yeah. So when we get, we're going to go meet yes. Mike for dinner. And when I get to the car, I'm getting uh, semi-nude. Oh. I'm taking off some layers. I'm not wearing all this to the barbecue. Seven shirts. Well, I don't think that that's exactly the same thing. As semi-nude? Uh, I mean, you know, if you're still wearing a garment on all of your major divisions of your body, I think you don't really like that. Ma'am, do you agree? She doesn't agree. She says semi-nude. Told you the barbecue. Here we are. Semi-nude. Jim and X barbecue. There's Mike. We found Mike. Barbecue. Oh, community barbecue. You're here for the Coke Zero? No. It's not true. Dorothy's peach tea? Yeah, that's what I'm here for. Kim, are you here for Dorothy's peach tea? Mike, are you? I'm probably going to lean toward the Coke Zero, actually. What about the cheesy biscuits? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yep. sure. Uh-huh. Mabel's homemade pies. Biscuits. Just going in. Yes. You're going to double it. Tea? Do you like that they have the peaches in the tea? Mm -hmm. Look at all the peaches down there. And the cheesy biscuit. The cheesy biscuit is an exercise in love. Love for the tummy and the mouth and the tongue and the lips and also the butt cheek, right? Hey, Mike. Because I killed it. Would you define this as semi-nude compared to how I was previously dressed? You are nude now than you were. I agree. See <laughs> that? See? I maintain. Semi-nude. As long as you're still fully clothed, you are not personally nude. Yes. The lady. He did awesome. not disagree in line to exit the Fox Theater. So what does that tell you? He's become more awesome. Like, 
Is that guy talking to me? That's weird. I'm just gonna agree to get him to go away. Ow! It's like a little bit of the habanero, and with everything else, it's just like. A That's the habanero one. one? Yeah. yeah. I got green beans, and I got turkey, and I got chicken, and I got Carolina pork and baked beans. Victoria got chicken tenders mm -hmm. at the barbecue place. What'd you get? Chicken? I got chicken breast. Is that yams? Yeah, sweet potato casserole. Oh, Mike got oh, a big plate of turkey. That's always a good choice. I like that. Mm -hmm. And the, the our server wants really us good. to eat the habanero. Yeah, I like the white sauce a lot. That's the uh, Huntsville yeah. white sauce. Yeah, delicious. It was Kim's birthday like a month ago, and Victoria got promoted like three months ago. We're so she got us pudding and pies. <laughs> and Mike got more Yay. biscuits. Biscuits. Oh, can you think you can put all those in the mouth at once? No. Oh. Yeah. Sequentially is better. I'm going in. We're back home in the arcade. Victoria's scoping out Donnie. I love his face. He's got the little wacky face. Yeah, he looks happy and like, yeah. like he'd be a good friend. To He's have. reaching out to hold hands. Oh. <laughs> and look. All those are now complete. We put up the one that we unboxed however long ago that was today. Number eight. That's good. Victoria, I need to go pack for 20 days. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> or however long it is. <laughs> so I'm going to go do that. And then we'll just hang out and we'll talk to the friends tomorrow. No, Tell good. them good night. Give them like a little, uh, um, some type of secret whisper. I, I don't. That's as good. Huh. Well, I got to poop. Good night. Good morning. Final time this episode from my house. I'm sitting on the back porch. It's quite lovely. I don't know. It's probably like 60 degrees, 65 degrees. Sun is out. It's clear. It's a nice day. Still not a lot of changes, although it looks like we had storms during uh, Halloween. Looks like a lot of the leaves got knocked off, which is sad. But I think I'll see some color change when I go to St. Louis. It is uh, still morning. It's a little bit after 11. Did you enjoy the fallback time change two weeks ago last night? Because I did. It was great. Uh, a little bit extra sleep and uh, still didn't disrupt the day. So I've got about th uh, three hours before I need to head to the airport. My flight's at 5. I'll probably head to the airport around 2.30 or so. Um, and I fly to St. Louis, where I'm going to connect with Phil. Maybe we'll talk with Phil a little bit tonight. And uh, so you'll see that, and you'll see tomorrow in St. Louis, and then that'll be the end of this episode. Um, but when I leave my house here, i got to go to St. Louis it's until Tuesday. When I land back in Atlanta, I'm immediately leaving the airport to go pick up my mom and drive to Myrtle Beach. And we will be in Myrtle Beach until two weeks from yesterday. So, um, I am leaving the house for basically two weeks and I have to go to several different climates, <laughs> three different cities, three different types of, I need uh, formal work clothes to be on site beginning of the week. I need, um, informal work clothes cause I still have to work a couple days later this week remotely and, um, make it an office there. And then I need beach clothes. He wants to join. The neighbor wants to join. He's not pleased with the dog. But that's what I have to pack for. The treat always works. So my packing is crazy. Plus, the next video here, which will be from Myrtle Beach, um, I don't know if this is going to happen, so don't take this as a promise. But I hope to be able to make at the end of it like a nice little several minute cool cinematography thing. I'm bringing all of the equipment that I have. Um, I have a Sony RX100 Mark V point and shoot. I have my um, DSLR. I'm bringing three drones. I'll have this phone obviously. I'm bringing my gimbal. I'm bringing uh, several different tripods, big ones, small ones. Uh, I have a slider so you can shoot some smooth sliding footage. Um, I'm bringing it all. Everything that I have uh, been tinkering with from the video and photo side of the last few years. And um, I want to try to put together just a nice little musical three or four minute video that uses every piece of that that I have. And try to really work hard on editing it and putting music correctly and um, 
doing something like that. So I hope to do that at the end of next week's episode. You have a regular episode, whatever we're doing, in the beach for a few days. But um, I want to try to do that. So look forward to that if that's something you're interested in. I'll put it at the very end, at the very, very end um, of next week's episode. So if you're interested in that, I'm going to try to do that. So because of that, I have a lot of stuff to pack. I don't want to leave it in the airport for two days while I'm in St. Louis. So Victoria's got to take a bunch of stuff home for me. So let's look at that luggage and then uh, let's go get lunch. Victoria. Yeah. Look at all that luggage. It's a lot of luggage. Those are not my Ugg boots. No, those are Those are my championship belts, though. Oh. Should I bring all that to the beach? Yeah. All right. I'm hungry. Okay. Are you going to wear a championship belt on your wrist as a bracelet to eat lunch? No, I'm going to wear my Ugg boots on oh. my feet. Keep them warm. Oh, semi-nude. A very lovely day, yes. It's my tour. first Ugg day. I'm so excited. And contacts. Yes. We're eating at Oriental J, which we have not been to in a long time. It's very good. They have uh, weekend lunch specials that are cheap, five bucks. And uh, we're going to have that. Are you getting snooshies? No. Ow. There you go. Weekend brunch. Five ninety-five. So with soup, egg roll, crab, fried rice, and meals. And then you can sort of regular menu as well. But Hello. Wonderful deal. Hello. Look how nice in here it is. White tablecloths, and they bring us a little snack, crispy noodles to dip in the sauce. Are you gonna dip it in the sauce, or just eat it with like mayonnaise? Wait, with the soup. My egg drop soup. Not with mayonnaise. No. I got the spicy Hunan pork and an egg drop soup. What did you get? Sesame chicken. With tea. Very good. They have good tea here. Victoria's showing you the technique yes. of putting the noodles in the egg drop soup. I, I actually use slightly different. I put a little, a little dab, you know, a little color, and then put a little of the little chippies. <laughs> the food has arrived. Do you think you made the right choice or me? Look at all the red in mine. Is that exciting? Ooh, I'm good without the red. That brings on the poops. Probably. One thing that tends to happen is I give Victoria this because it's her favorite thing in the whole wide world. Yes. She weeps if she doesn't you have to. You can have that. And she gives me that. Then uh, this is spring roll, which is uh, the lesser of the <laughs> items, but still hot and fresh. I just like an egg roll more than a spring roll. Look, I got a little corn. Time to eat. Got completely full. At the Oriental J, all the way. Completely full house. Please use other door. Did you enjoy your lunch, Victoria? Yes. We got here at specifically the right time. Yeah. We'd have been waiting otherwise. So now we're gonna go home. I got like an hour before I have to go to the airport. So I'll talk to you when I get to the airport. Victoria, we'll see you in the beach. Yes. Yes, I'll talk to you at the airport. Well, I'm at the airport. And on my journey to the airport, I wanted to eat some candies. And then candies got all over the floor. But that's all right. I do have my new, uh, the AirPods Pro in. I'm on transparency mode right now. So I'm gonna try these out on this flight, see if the noise canceling will work. I do have satellite TV on my flight, I think, so. I may watch football and do that. I have to plug my other headphones in. Or maybe I will watch football and listen to something on my phone. I don't know. But we are back at the airport again. Well, we're through security, checked our bag, and I'm in Terminal C, which is not a terminal I'm in very often, actually. Almost always in A or B, frequently A. Every once in a while, T, which is the close one. D is extremely rare. Um, the ENF or international. I think C and D are the, or at least D is like the other airlines that are Delta, I think. I don't know. I'm never there. So I don't know where the lounge is here, but I'm like it's C53 I'm forever away. I'm at C30 right now. So hopefully I can find a lounge to hang out in before I get on the plane, plane boards in like 30 minutes. So there's actually some decent traffic coming through the city. So I'm here a little later than normal, but that's okay. It's a lot busier than you'd think on a Sunday afternoon. I have people going on vacay. I don't know. I'm going on work. Okay. Let's find a lounge. 
Look how busy. And it says lounge, but this looks kind of shady. A little bootleg here. Maybe it'll be all right. Let's see. Uh, oh, well, thank you. Improvement in progress. Let's see what the improvements are. There we go. That's me. Busy in here too. All around. So what do you think this is? I don't know. I got Christmas tree cookie too, but let's see what this is. Oh, oh it's hard to do one-handed. Mm. Troubling. I still don't know. I have no clue. I gotta eat quick. I'll talk to you on the plane. So, told you, Fib. I'll talk to you before I get on the plane. Plane boards in like five minutes. Walking over to it. I've been messing around with these. They've worked really good, like with the noise canceling. I couldn't hear the subway train. Uh, could hardly hear the planes taking off outside, so I'm encouraged. So, we'll see how it goes on the plane itself. I haven't upgraded to first class, which is great this whole trip. So, always nice also the apple tv plus shows all launched uh two days ago on friday so victoria and i watched c the jason momoa show and we watched the first episode of the morning show the jennifer aniston show renee zellweger yes. and steve carell no uh reese witherspoon right. steve carell. i would say and we watched the first episode of watchmen i'm behind on that I think C was probably our favorite of those, but I'm going to check them out. The Space Show for All Mankind, I want to check out too. So, it's a lot of stuff all of a sudden, all at once. And I think, uh, uh, what's it, His Dark Delights? What's that HBO show called from a book series coming up? That starts tomorrow. So, anyway, here I am, C52, St. Louis. I'll show you uh, when I get in first class and we'll test these puppies out. We are in first class. Nice, lots more room. A lot of water waiting for us. Put these guys in there in case I want to watch TV. Play around. One more seat. What's happening out there? A lot of nothing. When we're in the air, we'll do some tests. Actually, right now you can probably hear the engines before they're cranked all the way up. So I'm going to turn that. Cancel it off, see if it takes it away. Can you hear it right now? Maybe. So I listened to the video and you can certainly hear the worm. So now I'm gonna, if I long hold it, it'll turn on noise cancellation. Let's see. Oh, wait a minute. So I didn't know if they wanted it long. Oh. It's gone. All the way. Hooray. Lambert St. Louis International Airport it was my second home for a long time. My uh, my job, or well, my role in the company before the one I currently have, this is the city I travel to all the time. Whereas like here, now you see me going a lot of places. I travel just as much, but it was always here. I'd be in St. Louis probably 10 days out of a month. So I've been in and out of this airport a lot for a couple years. And uh, now this is the only second time I've been here in two years, so a little different. I have to pee real bad. Those AirPods are wonderful. Completely take out the plane noise. They're perfect, for me at least. Especially if you got music playing, you can't hear anything. Like I even completely missed the uh, flight attendant coming by and asking me for a drink because I couldn't hear. I was staring out the window. It was pretty. So I gotta get my bag and get in my car. Talk to you when I get the car. I gotta hurry up. The Ravens kick off in an hour. So this is what we're gonna get here, a Chevy Equinox, I believe. I don't know that I've driven one of these. Maybe I have. So, uh, 
kind of looks pretty nice. Let's go. Got to get to the game. All right, here we are. Marriott, St. Louis. That car is nice. I like it. So, as quickly as I can, got to get checked in, get to my room as the game is just about to kick off. And I got to get my jersey on. Just got in, turned on the TV. 24-yard field goal attempt. Uh, looks like the Ravens are kicking a field goal. Oh, I'm all disoriented. Uh, lights on. A little penalty. Does that mean a... What does that mean? Open up the lights. I bet this is fun to watch. Hey, there's me. Hey. Uh, all right, let me get situated. Look, touchdown, Ravens, first drive. That, and took up half the clock. That's great. They gave me a present for being an elite member. What's it say? Oh, artisan truffles. All right, I got to get unpacked. This is frazzled. I know. Go, Ravens. Ravens forced a three and out, and they're driving again. They're in the red zone. But let me properly show you around the hotel. Bathroom. Got my Trace McSorley jersey on. <laughs> Bathroom. I have stayed in this hotel so many times. One year, I think maybe 2015, I stayed in here 100 nights. I was the longest. Oh, oh what are we going to do? Oh, uh, no good. Um, the hotel's visitor that had like either the second or third most stays of the whole year. Desk area. There's a nice little creek with uh, leaves, trees and stuff. In the morning, I'll show you that. And then here's the room. I'm gonna run to the lounge and get some snacks, and drinks for the room. And then uh, when Phil gets here, we'll go hang out with Phil. Ravens kick the field goal, make it 10 nothing. I think they've held the ball 24 plays. The Patriots three, almost in the first quarter. It's the way to win. They have the eighth floor, which is the floor I'm on, concierge lounge, that I've also spent way too much time in. So uh, let's see if they have any goodies. This hotel is hardly busy at all. There are probably 20 people staying here. There's the lounge. Just a lovely plate of cookies and cakes. And earlier there would have been dinner. Mixes, M&Ms, drinks. An area you can hang out by yourself if you want to. It's very nice. All right. I'll check in with you when either the Ravens do something magnificent or when Phil gets here. Okay. Looks like the Ravens are going to take a 10 0 lead at the end of the first quarter. So let's see what this it says delicate truffles or fine truffles. What's it say? Artisan truffles. Well, it has like a suitcase handle. I've undone that. Oh. Oh. It is. Oh, oopsies. Look at the fine truffles. That's great. And I got all these goodies. Oh, my goodness. Goodies bonanza. End of the first quarter, 10 nothing. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. It's just the start of the fourth quarter. The Ravens just went up 30 to 20. It's been a great game. Lots of turnovers. Lots of crazy stuff happening. Justin Tucker, my man, he just missed his first kick of the year. Missed an extra point, but that's okay. Big drive from Baltimore. And I'm going to go downstairs and find Phil because he's here. Are you excited? Looking for Phil. See if I can find Phil. Where's Phil? It's Phil here. This is the lobby and the restaurant and the bar. Is that Phil? Phil! There's the game right here on this television. Yeah, I figured you were there watching the game. How you I, doing, buddy? I turned it on. All right, man. I turned it on. I saw they were about to squat. Okay, he's still up. Yeah, I had to wait. All right, Phil, what are we going to get to eat here? Uh, I've, I've not eaten since lunchtime. Oh, you're starving. Yeah. Phil, you're a fan favorite. People are happy you're going to be on the episode this week. Oh. Are you going to do a little dance? I'll try. I'll try. Yeah. We get to hang out tomorrow all day. That should be fun. Oh. Second and goal. 30 to 20. Yeah, that time possession is nice. That's, Will they score on this play with Mark Ingram? Are they going to give it to the fullback? Ricard. That would be quite a decision. Oh, oh, what's happening? What? Oh, doo-doo. Just big poopy pants. Joe, did you make them do that? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> Couple over there. Did y'all make them? No. I thought they were good. Thirty-seven twenty. Nice. Under what? Three minutes left. Three, just over three minutes. Perfect. Yes. So Lamar Jackson. Give them their first loss. Yes, we like that very much. Uh, very New England is unfortunately not playing the Sisters of the Poor University <laughs> ITT Tech like they have all year long. Ooh, right. they, they found a good team and got that booty whooped. Ha! More importantly, look what you showed up. Ooh. Wait, that's his package. Oh, toasted ravioli. St. Louis's finest. That looks yummy. 
Well, well, well. 37-20. Back to that 17-point lead once the turnovers are eased up. Phil, is that a dominating performance? That's Decisive it. victory. Yeah. Oh, profanities. I'm not even have to bleep it out. Phil used a naughty word. Sorry. Punish yourself. That's a butt whipping. Ooh. Meat, flatbread, pizza. Oh. Yeah, that's really good, too. And you got hot chicken? Nashville hot chicken. That looks good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. fries? No, I got pizzas. Ooh, beef. So, Phil. Uh, yes, sir. In this video, mm-hmm. this episode... We have went on Friday to Midget Wrestling. I saw that. <laughs> on Saturday to Broadway show. And on Sunday, travel for work. You had a- Do you think that there is a person that has ever done those three things in a sequence of a weekend ever before? No, I think, I think the Midget Wrestling part is the X Factor that has made it unique. Extreme midget wrestling, as a matter of fact, and it was in a bar. Yes, I saw that. The movie, I mean, movie or and something. yeah, and they like um, multiple times hit their heads on the ceiling doing moves because the top ropes, were like the ceiling fan, was just right at the ropes. I, I feel bad, but I have to admit, when I was watching them, oh, they were wonderful, and they were able no, no, to I mean, do when their I was passion. watching your recordings that I was laughing. The whole time. Oh, they were laughing. It just, fun. it just seemed funny. They had a great time. They I were wasn't wonderful. laughing at them. It was just the whole thing. The entire spectacle was funny. Oh, safety. <laughs> well, back in the room, a yellow undershirt, 6 and 0. 0 2 when I don't wear the yellow undershirt. Big Ravens went over the Patriots. Had fun with Philip Dinner. We'll see him some more tomorrow. It is 11 04, and I still need to watch The Walking Dead and Mr. Robot because I don't want to get spoiled. So. I'm going to watch those, head to bed, and I will talk to you in the morning. Good morning. Final morning of this episode of Dub Life, this time from St. Louis. I'm looking out the window here. It's beautiful. Let me show you. I really enjoy the views from this hotel. See the pool down there, but leaves here, several of them have started to change a lot. And you got this, I don't know, stream? I don't know what it is. But there's nice walking trails down there. You can see the stairs that go down. You can walk on these trails. It's uh, near a college. There's some bird poopy. So it's pretty nice. Picnic tables over there. But I really like the view from here. And uh, Phil and I have several things to do today. So let's go see Phil in the lounge and get the day going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, hey Phil. Yes, sir. What you doing? I am working. I'm trying to. Oh, but I'm distracting you. Well, we have yeah, traffic. Or I might be showing you a package. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully, in a minute, maybe next clip, I'm gonna have barbecue that I get to show you. That would be oh, exciting. Gosh, be fun. Yes. Oh, I can drive now. Lunch time at the famous Appy's. Smokehouse. What a wonderful occasion. Oh, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Entire group is present. Shake it, Phil. Pappy says, don't worry about the table. You'll be able to find one after you place your order. So Pappy says, do you smell that? Oh. Oh, yes. Hey. What's it smell like, Phil? Heaven. Yes. It smells like heaven. Oh, oh, smells delicious. There's Pappy. Yeah, don't listen to Phil. He's a liar. Phil, that shirt says there's no such thing as too much butt. Do you think you can wear that to work? Probably not. That might be punishment. Look at all this. The Big Ben. Huh. Are you going to get the Big Ben? Full slab of ribs, beef and pork sandwiches. Quarter chicken, four side. Now, if we're all eating that, that's gonna put me to sleep. No, just you. Oh, no, no, no. Look at all the smokers for Pappy's Smokehouse. Oh, how exciting. Got ribs and brisket coming. Burn in. Oh. It's a piece of bread. Oh. Are you so Look, burn in and is. brisket and ribs and back. What'd you get? Oh, so good. Is everyone excited? Phil, you? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh. Look at the baked beans. 
Y'all didn't get baked beans? No, green I got, beans. I got green beans. I wanted to be healthy. <laughs> I wanted to be healthy. <laughs> same type oh, of atmosphere. It was more a matter of that atmosphere. Oh, it's like something my. we wanted to raise it. That was delicious. We're now at a helicopter, and that is the Mississippi River. And then, looky, looky, looky. Oh, this is why they put the new wide angle lens, just for this. Yes. That's fabulous. Look at the regular lens now. Oh, and down, and look how beautiful it is toward like the Capitol building. And then you turn around. Down the stairs, Mississippi River. Riverboat cruises. I could go for riverboat cruises. Ooh, hey. Phil, Phil, Phil. 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 Are you gonna touch the arch? I'm gonna touch the arch. Are you gonna taste the arch? No, I will not taste the arch. I've heard that's what you're supposed to do. Is, taste the arch? Yeah, lick it. No, I'm gonna, you're I'm out gonna on that? Oh. <laughs> Touch it, Phil. Touch it. Yeah, touch it. It looks so much bigger. Woo. <laughs> touch it. Touch it. <laughs> oh, it's blocking the sun. Look. Sun's over there. Sun's out. Arch out, you know. Look at it. Ooh. -wee. just like that helicopter took off uh, so did the rest of our day fast forward now five six hours later then uh, we're at the arch we had a great day uh, I'm in the lobby of the hotel that TV right there is the one we watched the game on last night second half last night wait I'm Phil we're about to go get dinner with my uh, couple members of my previous team uh, my old role which is a fun reason, or a fun thing to do. My clothes still smell like rib smoke, which is great. We're gonna go to the parade of meat on sticks. I'm not even that hungry, what are we doing? But that'll be fun. Uh, so it's good, we visited three different offices today. Uh, visited all our employees here, that was really nice, and uh, got to go to lunch, swung by and saw the arch hills, never been to St. Louis, so I wanted him to be able to see the arch, so that was cool. Uh, so we had a little detour because it was it was only about a mile from where we were eating at the barbecue place and uh, had a productive day. So on to the next event. And then we get back to the hotel. We'll wrap up the video. So let's see how the uh, parade of meat on sticks is. We're in now uh, St. Charles, Missouri. Phil, are you excited for all of the meat on sticks that you can eat? I will try. And the cheesy breads. And the cheesy breads and the salad. Potentially pie. grilled pineapple. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, here we go. Tucano's Brazilian Grill. Churros Korea. Meat on sticks. Parade of meat on sticks. Hey now. Oh, salad festival. Shrimpies. Oh, wasabi. Phil. Hmm. I need the cheesy breads. That bread looks good, but that ain't what I'm here for. Yeah. Brazilian cheesy bread. That's what we're talking about, folks. How do you want to cook? Medium? Don't need that? Medium, medium rare. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You're the you're the medium rare. Phil, you? Got a tough sirloin picanha. Jim? Medium, medium rare. Mmm, meats. Phil, that's not the chicken heart. That's the parmesan. I'll have the parmesan. I can tell. That's the heart. That doesn't look like a chicken heart. I have a chicken heart, Phil. Just go right now, Phil. Do it, 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 do it. You gotta clean your mouth. Jim is gonna cheer for you. Phil, Phil, yeah, here, here, yeah, here, here to the hearts. Yes, yes, you get the toast with the heart. Oh, is that tasty and delicious? You want him to bring back seconds? Not really. No, it's sugar glazed ham and turkey wrapped. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got one of them. I've got a big pile of meats now. Hey! Well, 
friends, we've come to the conclusion of another episode of Dub Life. Probably one of the most varied episodes ever. We had midget wrestling. Extreme wrestling. We had Broadway. We had two airports. We had meat on sticks. We had national monuments. We had ribs. I don't even know what all we had. We had so many things that happened. Uh, great time there at Tucano's, the Brazilian meat on sticks parade uh, with Phil and then uh, Jim and Donita, two of, uh, from my last role team members. Jim's actually retiring here in just a few days. Um, so very happy for him. That was kind of a celebration for him as he moves into retirement. We're very happy for him. And uh, it was great. It was a great time. Really great uh, episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, very, very much what my life just is. A lot of things kind of spur the moment. So hope you enjoyed it. Uh, next episode, we will be in Myrtle Beach. Um, I actually, when I leave here in the morning, I fly home, get in the car, and then I got many hours drive, pick up my mom, go to the beach. Uh, so tomorrow night, that's what we'll be doing. And then I still got a couple days of work that I'll work remotely. And uh, then take a week off, be on vacation. So we're excited for that. Anyway, hope you're enjoying uh, the new seasons of life. And uh, let me know what you thought about the video in the comments if you'd like. And you know what? I'll talk to you in the next video. And you could use like uh, lobster painters, right? Lobster painters like that. And squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it.